Right, I'm out in the garden again. I'm having a play with my tanker trailer. I like my tanker trailer. But last weekend I was asked by Daniel Scrace, I hope I pronounced your name right, sorry if I didn't, um, how I'd back up the trailer. Um, I found it really hard to like, describe how I do it, but I'll just drive the truck and hopefully you can see how I do it. I remember years ago when, you know, because me dad and uncle and grandfather were lorry drivers, I always remember overhearing that you steer with the tractor unit, not the wheels. And that kind of makes sense to me, but I don't know if I can explain it properly, but let me show you how I do it, because you push the trailer round, if you know what I mean, but here we go. And I've got the beacon lights now from Nigel Harper at Milford Models. I've got some beacon lights on my trailer now, so right. Um, if we want to get out of here, I'll back up a bit. Get it right over there, and I want the trailer to be straight. Because I always try and set the trailer up for the so it's pointing in the right direction. There we go, and then just back it on in. So if I want to go back in that spot, I'd come over here. So I want to get the trailer aiming in the right direction, look. And get the tractor unit at the right angle. And then bring it back. And let me stop there a minute. And I'll pull forward when the axle gets to the line, and then I know I'm in the right place to put the pipe on. But hang on, let's see if I can back her out again. Nice and slow. Let me stop there, I'm going to press stop and start on the camera again, hang on. <coughs> oh, there we go. Right! Right, I'm sat down here on the patio, and I'll try and explain how I back up. A lot of people watching this video, and they already know how to back up the trailers, so you can skip this one if you want. <laughs> Alright, so first I'd come in, try and watch where your wheels are going to see if you're going to lose grip or not. We should get over that all right. Here we go. Now if you see the angle of the tractor unit to the trailer, that's already now on the angle. You can see the tractor's like that, the trailer's like that. So now the tractor unit's already on the angle to push the front of that trailer in to bring it in here. I hope this makes sense to you. I'm not very good at explaining it. But I'll still steer the other way a little bit, not too much. This is a short trailer, so it likes to cut in sharp. Now the trailer's kind of getting where I want it to be straight, so I'm going to start turning left to get the tractor unit straight, and it should all level up for me. There you go. And we just come straight back. There we go. We try it again. Yeah, I've got a full load of water on here as well, so she's scuffing me tires nicely. Let's back it up there. I want to get it over there a bit. There we go. You can't see none of that. All you can see is a flower pot. <laughs> right. So I'll bring it in here. Hopefully I don't lose grip over the bump. Right, we're all right. Over there. Left a bit. There we go. 
turning the wheel to the right, but I'm not really paying attention to the wheels, I'm paying attention to where the tractor unit is. So I want to push that ringlet. Now I'm going to turn, in, uh, the wheels are turned to the left, as the trailer is coming back. Now if it's not cutting in tight enough, I'll just let go of the steering a bit, look. And then even it out. I'm hoping the uh, truck is explaining it better than what I am. <laughs> um, let's do it from a different angle, hang on. Let's have another go from this angle, let's get the truck in. There we go, get her straight because I want to back up here. I'm just watching the truck, I'm watching where the trailer's going and making adjustments with the tractor unit, obviously, because we steer from the tractor unit. But, <coughs> as I was saying, I'm, uh, I'm not steering the trailer with the wheels, if you like, the steer wheels, I'm steering the trailer by using the tractor to push the trailer where I want it. So let's go forward again, I'll get her down in that dip. And I'll come out over here, and then turn like that, look. So the tractor unit's already set up and the trailer is too. Here we go, back it in slowly. Now I'm going to start to turn left a little bit. Now you see I straightened the wheels up and pushed it back because I wanted the trailer to cut round more because I wanted the front of that trailer to push out that way a little bit more. Here we go, nice and slow. There we go, and we're in again, look. See, look at that. There we go, right, hang on. Let me turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on again. Right! Let's turn the truck ring. Let's have a go at backing it off the patio and on to the concrete footpath. There we go. There we go. Look. I believe the key of doing it is being nice and slow and smooth. Look at that. Oh, look! I've got me blue lenses back in the middle. Got them from Nigel Harper at Milford Models. And he got me the beacon lights as well. Let's turn them on. Yeah, you can see them flashing. I've got one on the cab now, two on the tank. <laughs> I like the beacon lights. There we go. But yeah, I suppose backing the truck up, slow, being slow is obviously better, because then you can have more control over what you're doing. Right, let's turn that in there. Have another go. Truck's loaded with water. Back in. Look where the trailer's going and adjust it with the angle of the tractor unit. Look at that. And, no, oh hello, put it in the right gear. Off we go. I like these trucks. Do you have one more go? The battery's going flat in the mighty scan here and I've got empty it yet. <laughs> Let's have another go. Up the bump. Let's hope we don't lose grip. I've lost grip. Oh, look at that. I think I've got a bit of weight on the axles here. <laughs> They're bowing out all over the place. I love it. <laughs> see, I didn't pay attention to what I said earlier. Uh, you know, watch where the tractor's going to see if you're going to lose grip. Right. That probably lost grip saying that because I had the steer wheels on such a sharp angle and it was going up a bump. Yeah, that's what it is, look. Because if I straighten their wheels up... Yeah, now it's coming up, look. And I've made a mess of that. <laughs> oh, I love my truck. Yeah, I was going to go up the forest today with the um, Tamiya Blackfoot. I wanted to go to that old RAF bridge up the airfield, but... Oh, it's muggy and hot again today, so I thought, now nah, I'm going to sit in my garden again and play with my truck. My Scania. I do like using my semi-truck, my Scania. 
I know I've got the two other trucks, but I just really like using this at the minute. I actually enjoy using it. And I like my new trailer. Well, the one I put together type thing. <laughs> Means it's full of water again. Well, so we have one more go at backing her in. Um, no, I've just turned the engine off. Hello. Right. Let's back her up. We're doing some reversing. So, yeah, I suppose the key is nice and slow. Look to see where the trailer's going and adjust it obviously with the tractor unit. I think I'm stating the obvious there, but... Uh, it does take practice. <coughs> as well as like anything, it's, everything takes practice. But I think if people like, you know, they're looking for a what's the key to be able to back them up nicely, I think it's going nice and slow. I mean, hang on, let me smack it in reverse and we'll do it fast. And you'll see, I'll probably make a mess of it, because I ain't got time to adjust. Well, that going fast didn't happen, because the battery's flat on the truck. <laughs> Once again, Mr. Polar Bear, you've made a terrible video. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to take this down the garden and I'm going to empty it with the water. Empty it of water. What is wrong with me recently? Is my tongue too big for me mouth? <laughs> right, yeah, anyway, I'm going to take it down the garden and empty it. While I've still got battery power. <clears throat> because... Oh, I've, um... The trailer hasn't got its own battery anymore. I've got the battery... The battery from the Scania, let's say, and like the freight line, whatever. The battery from the truck... <coughs> runs the pump. The reason why I did that is because, you know, if I want to use a truck with a like that on the back, two hours to charge the truck up, two hours to charge the trailer, that's near on half a day gone. Not quite, but you know what I mean. Right. Now we'll go back and her in there. If you've got one of these trucks, just have a play with it. Sit down with it. Get that right up there. You can't see nothing. But I'm right up against the tripod. There we go. I don't know if you can... There we go. I remember when my dad, years ago when he used to back the lorry, he used to go to some really tight places. Some of the lanes he had to go down and then back on into like a little pumping station. Honestly, you'd look down and you think, of course you wouldn't even get a car down there. And he'd go down there and he'd put the front of the truck straight in the bush. I know my dad was the type of bloke, he, didn't believe in, he doesn't believe in braking or wrecking anything. But to get the truck round, honestly, he'd have the front of the truck right up in the edge and then he'd back her on ring. Right. Look at that when the battery's flat, the bloody steering won't turn. Right, let's have another go. Right, the trailer, if you like, I'm aiming for that plant pot. And then when it gets near it, I'm going to start straightening her up. Look. Now, you see that? I don't know if you saw that, you can wind it back. But as I was going down that bump, the two back axles weren't on the ground. It was on the front axle of the trailer, so the whole thing pivoted round it. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get ringed. Yeah, we can get ringed. Yeah. Yeah, just have a play with your truck. I mean, go out in your garden, set some... Set? What's wrong with me? Set up some little, little, like little obstacles. Like I've got... Um, I don't even see what I'm doing. I've got that corner there, what I'm playing with at the minute, and I've got the plant pot there, and just see if you can get it ringed. Right. There we go. Oh, nearly crashed into the um, tripod there. So I'm aiming the trailer for that plant pot by pushing the front of the trailer ain't that way. I'm probably explaining this so bad. Now watch when we go down that bump. Look, my rear trailer, the two trailer axles at the back, they're not even on the ground, but I don't know if you can see that. So when I go over that bump, that front axle there is going to pivot on that, it's going to cut really sharp. Can you see it not on the ground? Yeah, I think you can. I can't hardly see in the viewfinder because it's um, sunny, ain't you? Right, 
how I'm expecting it to turn in sharp because those back wheels ain't on the ground. And there it goes, let's see. It just suddenly went. Now we've turned round. And off we go down the garden. <laughs> right, I'm going to take it down the garden and empty it, and then I'll go and edit this video that you've already watched. But before I go, I'm going to turn my beacon lights back on because I like them. <laughs> Here we go, let's have my rear spotters on. Here we go. Tell you what, that looked quite nice for the thumbnail, wasn't it? I reckon it would. That is going to be the thumbnail for the video. Right, I'm going to go. And thank you to Nigel Harper at Milford Models for selling me two more of those beacon lights. I love them. Right, hope I've helped with backing up Dan, Daniel. I'm not very good at explaining these sort of things. I can do things, kind of, but not very good at explaining. So if it has helped, I'm glad. Right, I'm going to go and empty the truck and edit the video. Right, here we are. I have been sat here for ages waiting for this truck to unload. <laughs> that battery must have been flat. <laughs> I've been using it all day. Right, I'm going to carry on waiting for it to unload, then take it indoors. Right, there we go. Zoom out. Oh, you can hear it. The battery is going... Or uh, uh, uh. oh, the motor. <laughs> yeah. I'm just mucking about with my camera now. Look at it. Where's the handle gone? That's as far as it goes. <laughs> you still see it. <laughs> Try again. <clears throat> Oh, it's empty. Look out. We're empty. Alright, yeah, turn it off. I'm mucking about with my camera. <coughs> right, there we go.